Take you guys over and over to practice your dagger strokes. Here's one. This will all start blending together here in a minute. You don't want to keep, see how I got like one line here, one line there, one line there? It doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to go back in and I know that I'm going to add more colors, but you don't want to do that in a repetition because it doesn't look right. You don't want them end in the same spot and be the same um, width apart from each other. You want to kind of mix them up. Pay close attention to your uh, reference picture. You don't want to just have a whole bunch of straight lines. You want to really know which direction all these feathers are going. What I'm doing is just feather my trigger back and forth to get this to kind of look blotchy up here. I'm going to go back and forth with my white and my black. What I mean is I don't like to try to do everything in one step. That's how I get that layered effect.
I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this off on my masking off where I can just start freehanding everything and getting softer lines. I still want to, I want some of my hard lines out on the edges, but yet I also want them to be soft where the feathers come across. I've unmasked it now and I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit of black where the, his body is going to be. I'll spray it down through here right now. Trying to get a lot of overspray. In fact, I'm going to wipe this off the water boring cleaner because we had. Sometimes when you put your um, transfer paper down and you pull it back off, especially starting to do shadows like on flames or something, if you're not using a water based paint, you're using a urethane, you can take a water boring cleaner and wipe it off and it'll keep it from doing all this um, tape tracking basically. What happens is the glue residue um, attracts your um, your black paint. Let's say you're doing a, a shadow, it attracts that black paint out to where the tape is um, stuck, and it gives this distorted looking line. So we'll clean all that off. What you were just watching there is I sprayed my black and then I sprayed a little dust coat of white over it and then I used my mustard yellow down in the um, feathers here a little bit. And the reason I did that is because his shoulders right here or his, you know, where his feathers are going to come and this is the golden part of his shoulder and I set it up by using the mustard color and then I'll go back in and I'm going to use a stencil and we'll create all the feathers down through here. But it was getting a little foggy, so I just went ahead and sprayed everything, but now we'll go back and start doing some detail. What am I using? Dagger strokes. Practice them guys. And gals. And children. Can't forget my kids.